Has Kev told you much about what it was like when we first moved here? Well, I know it was after your mum died. Four years after. <laughs> I think Dad just wanted a fresh start. But what that really meant was things stayed exactly the same for him and Kev. But I still had to do everything Mum used to do. Cook, clean, skivvy. And on top of all that, still keep trying to go to school. <laughs> and Dad was surprised when I failed my exams. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love my dad. I know I can. He's a good man. Heart of gold. <laughs> but I couldn't really chat to them about anything deep or personal. They had no idea how miserable I was. I don't even think I did. But when I left home, I felt this weight lifting. I could start living for me, for myself, and I loved it. And do you know what I was good at? Making money. So, yeah, when an opportunity came up to come back here and show everybody what I'd made of myself, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a flipping skyscraper. Why are you telling me all of this? Do you expect me to feel sorry for you? You still don't get it, do you? I am really proud of what I've become. Very proud. So do you think I'm going to let a horrible little man like him mess everything up? So, what, you want me to keep your name out of it so he gets his, but you don't get yours? <laughs> What's in the envelope? Nothing. Just some work. Some work you were doing alone in the dark. Why are you here anyway? I'm telling you. It's just some paperwork. It looks like the sort of envelope you stuff cash in. It's not for him, is it? No. But it is his money. It's what I'm owed. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I'm calling the police. No, please. I'll be, I'm begging you, please. No police. No, I'm fed up with this. You, I saw you fighting, you lied about it, and, and now you've got his cash. No, please, you don't understand. Well, I think I do, because he's like you said. You, you're living for yourself, you don't care about anyone else anymore, you just like it, and I am sick of it. I'm going to the police and you're both going to pay. Yes, you're right. I did what I did for me. But I also did it for you. For Faye, for everybody who's ever hurt. Did what? Oh, you don't want to know. Debbie! I was waiting for an opportunity to cut ties with him. I thought if I gather enough evidence, I could go to the police and be shut of him for good. But when I came in here and saw what he'd done to you, I knew I couldn't wait any longer. So what, what did you do? <sighs> oh, don't tell me. You bashed his, you bashed his brains in with a bottle of Dom Perignon. No. It wasn't a bottle. <laughs> 